Section 11.2 is about odds. Odds, the odds given at a horse race, at a craps, and at all gambling games in Las Vegas and other casinos throughout the world are always the odds against unless they are specified otherwise. The odds against an event is a ratio, which means fraction, of the probability the event will fail to occur to, compared to the probability that the event will occur. So to find the odds, you must first determine the probability of success and the probability of failure. The formula um, may be used, so you take the probability the event fails to occur divided by the probability the event does occur. You can also shorthand this by just taking the probability of failure divided by the probability of success. So for example, let's say you're rolling a die. I want you to term, determine the odds against rolling a die on one roll of a die. So that means we need the probability of a failure divided by the probability of getting the four. So remember, there's only one four on a die, so the probability of successfully rolling a four is one out of six. The probability of getting a failure is five out of six. And we typically don't like to divide fractions, so we'll do what's called copy dot flop. And when you do that, the sixes will cancel. And your probability, or excuse me, your odds against rolling a four on a die is five to one. A lot of people will just shorthand that and say, well, there's only one four on the die and there's five numbers that aren't. Those are my odds against rolling a four. And that's fine if you want to shorthand it. Odds in favor of an event. To determine odds in favor of an event, you simply flip-flop the formula and you take the probability that the event does happen divided by the probability the event fails to happen. So I have a little chart here for you about smartphones. It says, if a smartphone owner is randomly selected, determine the odds against the individual owning a Samsung. So it's odds against. So again, we want the probability that it's not a Samsung divided by the probability that it is a Samsung. Okay, so if you look at your um, table here, all of your probabilities added together should add up to be 100%, otherwise you've got an issue, okay? Um, the percentage of people that own Samsung is 27. So we have a 27 out of 100% chance of earning, uh, owning a Samsung. Rather than adding up all the others, you could just do 100 minus 27 to find out that 73 out of 100 owners do not own a Samsung. And again, we can do the copy dot flop, which is going to cancel the 100s. So the odds against owning a Samsung are 73 to 27. Last, you can determine probabilities from odds. So the odds against Robin being admitted to the college of her choice is 92. Determine the probability that Robin is admitted and the probability that Robin is not admitted. So first we want the probability that she is, and then we want the probability that she is not. Okay, so when we look at the odds, we are given the odds against Robin being admitted. So the 9 is the probability that she um, is the number from the probability that she's not going to get in. The 2 is from the probability that she will get in. And then the way you figure out the denominator is by adding the 9 and the 2 together. So 9 plus 2 would be 11. So the probability that Robin will be admitted to the college of her choice is 2 to 11. The probability that she will not is 9 to 11.